Here we have our Class 800 forged steel piston check valve. These are designed to API 602 uh, with NPTN, so from half inch to two inch MPD. And they're also tested to API 598. And if you notice on each valve part, there is a heat number. Now these heat numbers relate to the casting batches that they go through. So every one of our valves will come with a material and test certification which relates to this valve. Now these piston check valves have a direction of flow on the side. You'll see just there. Now that represents the direction of flow. It has to come this way. It comes up and under. In here there's a spring with a piston on it. Now this piston won't open until the cracking pressure is reached. Now once the cracking pressure is reached, this piston's forced up against the spring tension and the flow comes through the valve. Now that's the amount of flow you get will be proportional to your pressure. If you're just at your cracking pressure, the flow won't be won't be too much. But if you once you get the pressure enough pressure to fully recess this piston, your flow will come right through. These are mainly used in steam applications or things where you need high pressure and high temperature. We also do these in socket weld ends. We machine these ends out to socket weld. So sometimes you can have one NPT end, one socket weld end, or both socket welds, or both NPT. What are the seat and material and also the piston material then? The seat, seat material in here is stellite, deposited stellite. So that's great for hard wearing and high temperature applications because it will sit in the flow. Um, the disc itself is stainless steel and the spring is 304 stainless steel. All the rest of it is A105 forged steel.